हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नवांकुर विद्यापीठ वेलकम्स यू इन डिजी लेसन्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टेक्स्ट बुक फ्लैमिंगो थर्ड चैप्टर डी वाटर अबाउट द ऑथर विलियम डगलस एटीन नाइन्टी एट टू नाइनटीन एटी वॉज बॉर्न इन मैन मैनेसोटा आफ्टर ग्रेजुएटिंग विथ ए बैचलर ऑफ आर्ट्स In English and economics, he spent two years teaching high school in Yakima. However, he got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career. He met Franklin D. Roosevelt at year end, became an advisor and friend to the president. Douglas was a leading advocate of. individual rights he retired in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court the following excerpt is taken from of man and mountains by william o douglas it reveals how as a young boy william douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool In this essay he talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcome overcame it notice how the autobiographical part of the selection is used to support his discussion of fear deep water is about the writer's journey of overcoming the fear of water which is deeply rooted in him since childhood the author started fearing water since the age of 4 it starts when he was visiting california with his father he visits a beach where a wave knocks him down and sweeps over him this terrifies the author although the father laughs at this knowing it was no danger however this experience terrifies him and develops a fear of water After that when the author is 11 years old he experiences another incident which escalates his fear he is at a swimming pool in Yakima trying to learn swimming on one fine day a bully decides to pull a dangerous prank he pushes him in the deep end of the pool which frightens the author He reaches nine feet into the water and starts struggling desperately to hold on to something. Moreover, he yells for help, but they start feeling paralyzed and only his heart was moving now. Thus, he gives up and readies himself to die, but backs up at the side of the pool. However, the terror he experiences. while drowning <coughs> never goes away he continues to haunt him for many years <coughs> and even spoiled his future expeditions concerning canoeing swimming fishing and more he even visits marine lakes columbia new hampshire and more but it is uh, is not able to enjoy it thus he decides to overcome his fear by hook or by crook he enrolls himself in a swimming class and tries to learn from the instructor the instructor teaches him many tips and tricks for swimming he begins with the inhaling and exhaling part then he practices it for many weeks further he moves on the on to the kicking the legs on the side of the pool finally he combines all this with the final move of swimming although the author knows how to swim he is still terrified of water thus in order to get rid of the fear he decides to control it he mocks it by thinking when well, what can it really do consequently he plunks his plunks into the water and to his surprise his fear goes away he faced it in many places and at last man manages 
to conclude it conclusion of deep water to sum up deep water summary we learn that if we are determined enough and have it the have the courage we can overcome any fear that comes our way without letting the fear overpower us thank you students